now let us discuss about conversion of finite automata to right linear grammar and uh, conversion of finite automata to left linear grammar so this is the finite automata which is given so we have two states a is the initial state whereas b is the final state a on uh, a will goes to the b b on a b will stay set b only so first let us convert finite automata into the right linear grammar so that is construct right linear grammar based on this finite automata so construction of right linear grammar is direct process so what is the first state a so a on a will goes to b so a implies a on a small a will goes to b so this is right linear grammar in right linear grammar in the right hand side the rightmost symbol is always a non terminal okay the rightmost symbol is always a non terminal whereas left linear grammar means uh, at the right hand side the leftmost symbol is always a non terminal so the leftmost one is always a non terminal so initially we are constructing right linear grammar next b on a b on a will be at b only next b implies if we apply small b on b then we will be at b only and what is the final state b is the final state if it is the final state then we have to write it as epsilon b implies epsilon it specifies that b is the final state now let's see how to convert finite automata into the left linear grammar so that means how to construct left linear grammar based on the finite automata so for that we have to follow three steps the first step is we have to construct reverse of the finite automata so reverse of the finite automata means make initial state as the final state and final state as the initial state and reverse the edges reverse the edges and the second step is then write right linear grammar then after that we have to construct right linear grammar based on the finite automata and what is the last step then take reverse of the right linear grammar to obtain left linear grammar so we have to follow totally three steps in order to construct in order to obtain left linear grammar what is the first step construct reverse of the finite automata reverse of the finite automata means we have to make initial state as the final state and final state as the initial state there is no need to change the remaining states and reverse the edges reverse the directions second step is construct right linear grammar based on the finite automata and the third step is reverse the right linear grammar in order to obtain left linear grammar okay so here so first we reverse the finite automata so that means this is the initial state here so this will become the final state final state and final state is b so it will become initial state it will become initial state initial state means we have to use arrow so b on a b means b only so this is self loop for self loop there is no difference so we can write it as like this also but there is no difference next here we have an edge from a to b reverse that edge so now b to a we have an edge on a symbol okay so this is nothing but reverse of the finite automata so reversing means make initial state as the final state so a becomes the final state here b is the final state so b is the initial state okay initial state means arrow will be towards that state so this is self loop self loop means there is no difference a to b on a we have an edge so we have to reverse that edge so construction of uh, uh, reversing the finite automata is over okay and what is the second step then write uh, then write right linear grammar okay so first one is here the initial state is b so first let us write on b so b on a will be at b only next b on b will be at b only next b on a b on a will goes to the a next here a is the final state okay so we will have an edge like this a implies epsilon so if it is the final state we have we have to write like this okay next how to write the right linear grammar 
simply we have to reverse the Reichenia grammar. Simply we have to reverse the Reichenia grammar in order to obtain left linear grammar. So B implies, so this can be written as B A. So this is left linear. Left linear means in the right hand side, the left to most symbol is not linear. Next one B implies B B. Next one B implies A A. Next A implies epsilon is a terminal symbol. So there is no change. So if you have three states, four states, then there is no need to change uh, remaining states. We have to change only initial state and final state. So make initial state as the final state and final state as the initial state. There is no change uh, on remaining states. Suppose in the examination, if the question is given on uh, convert finite automata to regular grammar. So conversion of finite automata to regular grammar means uh, here regular grammar means uh, left linear grammar and right linear grammar. So it is better to construct both uh, the right linear grammar as well as left linear grammar. Here the point is for the finite automata we can write right linear grammar directly but for the left linear grammar we can't write directly. So for that we have to follow three steps. First uh, construct reverse of the finite automata. Second step uh, write right linear grammar based on the reverse of the finite automata. Next one is reverse the right linear grammar in order to obtain left linear grammar. Okay.